Welcome to Geek's Corner, I'm Mr. Daps. And I'm Johnny Five. Why? Hmm? What? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Johnny Five. What? And this week, what are we gonna do? Yeah, this, this week we're gonna talk about the Muppets again. And uh, something else. What was oh, Star Wars know. standalones. And we're gonna we're gonna update our tech house cup. Yeah. Um, so why are you Johnny Five tonight? Uh, a couple of reasons. I, I was and why did you to... talk like that? I don't, don't like changing oh, it up. Okay. I was I was going to uh, to really change it up and pick a random number. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm Johnny something. So I, I went to a random number picker you and it came out do five. It, could you? Mm -hmm. No, it came out five. And I'm uh -huh. like, well, that's it. And and also this is the last Geeks Corner episode in which my age will be five squared. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Give you, give you a second to, to yes, plot sorry. it out on a piece of paper. She just gave me this Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, and today's the fifth, and you cut the tree outside, and mm -hmm. all sorts of reasons. Mm -hmm. There's a new sucker fish in the Daps fish tank. Yeah, we're we're on a yeah. roll, and and the Star Trek comic book came out, Ooh, and it's awesome. Nice. Did you read this? Now you need to read it. it. It tells about what happens before Star Trek. I don't want to read it. I want to keep it in the plastic. Well, you can do both. And, <laughs> okay. Um, and if you don't know who Captain Robert April is, you might want to do some research. Do you know who Captain Robert April is? You're a Trekkie. Oh, shameful. All I can say is Google that with Gene Roddenberry. Um, so yeah, Muppets are coming back. Muppets. Did you read the the article? On I the did. Muppets? I have it. Oh, I have it right here. I was I was more interested in the cast list. Actually. Okay, well, let's give the premise first. The Muppets yeah. are going on tour in Europe, and they're going to do their show all across Europe, and somewhere along the way, they get enmeshed in a plot. Enmeshed? Yes. Enmeshed. In an evil plot involving a, um, another frog named Constantine that looks just like Kermit. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking he's a Muppet. With a, with a goatee, maybe? I don't know. I haven't seen like pictures evil yet. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves evil Spock. <laughs> it's a mirror universe. Um, no, this is Muppets, not Star Trek. Oh, okay. Okay, talk about the cast list. Um, I was I was going through the cast list because we knew about uh, Ricky Gervais, mm -hmm. knew about him, mm -hmm. um, didn't know about Constantine, but also Tina Fey was mm -hmm. going to be in it, and I didn't know about her oh. until until the most recent article. Uh, and, she's excited. And so and she's going to be a feisty prison guard, mm -hmm. and Ty Burrell is going to be an Interpol agent. And it didn't give an adjective, but it's Ty Burrell, so did we can see, assume some adjectives. I don't know. Did anybody else see? I think it was a press release or something. There was an. Um, they kind of made a nod to the Pink Panther. Ooh, so I'm okay. wondering if, if the bumbling. Interpol agent is going to be a I bumbling. Think, I think I've said, but like most of Ty Burrell is bumbling. Most of his roles is it is I, between I Modern Family and the the Orange Juice commercials. Like he, he bumbles, okay. he bumbles a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what do you think about the what do you know what do you think of what you know so far? What, what do I think of what I know? That's mm -hmm. or what do I know about what I think? Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I, what? How dare you? Um, it's kind of the the great Muppet caper. It is. Kind of. It's a little bit, and I'm a little bit worried that they've already done the Muppet thing in the last movie, yeah. and they're just bringing it back with a well. A frog there was now a, named there was a subtle difference. The Muppets weren't the evil version; they were the knockoff version. They were they were the like the the B list. You know, what I, like they, okay. they they like they they were mean, but they weren't F list. Yeah, they. Mm -hmm. Can we? Can we say that on Z-list? I don't Z -list? know. No, no, we've got the. <laughs> they're at the bottom. Yeah, they're anyway, they're continue. Yeah, they were the 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 off-brand Muppets, mm -hmm. whereas this is like the evil Muppet, like <laughs> evil Mahaha. <laughs> Do you want to warm up again? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I get so much pleasure out of that. Um, okay, I'll give you that. I don't know. What are you thinking? What do you what do you think of what you think you know about Honestly, what you know I about don't thinking? really care. Like, I think okay. it's going to be fun. They yeah. have a good team working on it. Um, you know, Ricky Gervais has been tweeting occasionally, and it looks like fun, and really that's what the Muppets are all about. And I think the comedians they have involved are the right type of comedians. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you don't want to get too safe with the Muppets. You don't want to be sanitized. You want to have a little bit of an edge. And so I think that's great that they have Tina Ricky Fey and, and Ricky Tina. Tribune. Yeah, like it's it's hmm. gonna be great. The two, I never I didn't put them together. The two of them, that's got to be a fun filming. Oh yeah, process. can you imagine? No, that I set can't. has got to be insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then throw an animal. Acting Thank natural. You. <laughs> you're even you're. You don't have a microphone. Um, Tech House Cup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this week. Well, you talk about it. You found the article. So, 
Facebook is aligning with Apple is mm -hmm. what it seems like. Yeah. Um, and I need to I need to check what it was actually talking about. Uh, but I think it was for its searches or something, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, in the 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 new thing that they're doing. But I thought it was interesting because their Facebook search already uses Bing, which is Microsoft. Which is a little bit weird. So there's this whole article about them siding with Apple when they've already kind of in, in integrated Microsoft's technology. So where do the points fall for that? With the Facebook? I don't know, but in the press release when Mark Zuckerberg announced that he was going to be working with Apple, he basically told them that he couldn't stand Google. Mm. So I don't know if that's positive points for Google or negative. If, if Facebook can't handle you. Like, <laughs> I, I really have a problem know. with that. I, I'm thinking we're going to give them 20 points because Facebook doesn't like them. And then Aww. we're also going to give. Facebook gave them thumbs down. Yeah. And then we're going to give Apple 25 points just because I say so. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and, and also, uh, Google, we were saying there may have been an error. There wasn't, there was not an error. Because the, the thing was... That's a very good point. Since Google is messing with Johnny Five, I'm giving yeah. them an extra 20 points. So they get 40 points for tonight, Wait. actually. <laughs> and they're getting uh, points for messing with me? Absolutely, because oh. it works perfectly for me. Um, and then Microsoft, since you didn't interest us this week, um, you're getting nothing. Well, what about their, their Bing thing with Facebook? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Apple should get more points because Johnny would and I don't know what he just said, so I'm subtracting 10 points now from Apple, and they get 15, because <laughs> I didn't understand what you said. Uh, that good? Yeah, okay. I like it. There we go. Um, that is updated on the site as of this very second, because we have that kind of technology, and we yeah, rock. We're live. We are live with the house cut. Even though we're not live. Interesting. Think um, about that. Mm -hmm. What do you think about what you know? We are extra careful on Geek's Corner. <laughs> what and you on know, a shirt? Just, yeah, you, you, know, like you know, like ABC and, and network TV, they have a 12 second delay or whatever. We have like a 12 hour delay. More or less, yeah. approximately. So if something happens in the next 12 hours we don't talk about, then we can would bleep it out, whatever. We're, we're being cautious. Yes. We're, we're that safe. Mm -hmm. Bleep what? We've never. I know, been, but if, yeah. if it were to happen, we're safe. Oh, that, but, yes, that's true. What happened? It was a, it was a, it was a different thing. Oh, we did bleep one. Why? Yeah. Find, find the episode and comment. Oh, okay. Yeah, comments. Um, so, Star Wars is going to be standing alone. Yes. Um, Bob Iger did Just a conference like the call cheese. this afternoon at 2 o'clock. What? The cheese oh. stands alone. And yeah, you would. Um, so, he did a conference call this afternoon, and he admitted that beyond the trilogy that's in the works, there's also two standalone Star Wars movies, and um, they're going to be focused around two... It sounded like two specific characters. Am I right, Roger? Did you hear yes, this? Yes, okay. Okay. He's he's our go-to guy. And so my question for you is, who do you want to see a story for? Who do I want or who do I think? Either or. I want to see, because because for a while they did the Clone War uh, series. I don't know. Because remember they this said, is this is. Oh yeah, I don't they know that said it's where in be, the timeline. That is this. true. I didn't think of that. Um, so I don't know. I I I could see a Han Solo spinoff because mm -hmm. he's got a lot of. A lot of activity, like probably one where he's too old for the job, but his son takes over and he learns how to wield a blaster from a bunch of monkeys in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and your other one? Um, and the, I don't know. Chewbacca, um, anybody? I want to see a Chewy well, movie. Wouldn't a Chewy movie? Yeah. It would just be called a Chewy movie. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's better than the Christmas one. Uh, kind of. That's kind of what the Christmas one was, though. Was here's yep. Chewbacca's family gonna have? Big, That's true. Gonna have but I would rather see day. an origin story of how he became the Chewbacca that we know and love. Well, he was he was born a Wookiee, and and he grew up a Wookiee and he lived a Wookiee. So so then he Wookiee. How do you get on the Millennium Falcon? Wookiee. <laughs> This is why we do homework. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do homework for other people. True. Yes, it is true. But <laughs> who are your who are your picks? Who do you want to see? I just so said Chewy. I, I'd like to see Chewbacca, and I think they could do a really cool bounty hunter movie. Like not necessarily thinking, any of the bounty hunters we already know, but maybe even one of of Lando Calrissian wasn't a bounty hunter, but. Well, perhaps. Just but Lando you, with an exclamation point. <laughs> or if, if they really want to make 
um, Mace Windu. Ooh. I want to see a Mace Windu movie. Yeah. Because that would be a crazy movie. Jedi like, on a that plane? Would, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would take Star Wars where it's never been before. Yeah. I, I would like to see that. It would, it um, would make it boldly go. Now, <laughs> do something. Um, now we have something very important that we would like to talk about. Um, for the last two weeks, we've been going to Starbucks. <laughs> there has been absolutely no internet. Yeah. Now for geeks, this is a problem. It Cause, is. Because we plan our, our, our show there and we, we post there and we work on the website there because it's a place where we can all get together in public so nobody disappears. And um, this just hasn't worked. <laughs> Not Wait, you or me, you just oh, okay. the other ones. Um, That's true. And, and so we would like to, to ask that um, we band together to stop um, Starbucks Wi-Fi from going extinct. Yes. So <laughs> It's a precious see, resource. It is. That needs to be protected. So if you see one of us tweet about it, and you'll see our Twitter handers below, please retweet it and mm -hmm. respond to us so that the, um, the Wi-Fi gurus, wherever they may be, will mm -hmm. fix our Starbucks internet and bring it back. Yes. And the clapping reminds me that <laughs> the Dapsies are coming soon. The Dapsies, yes. Um, <laughs> put, in, put in your, your, uh, your nominations. nominations. We need nominations for the Dapsies. We don't care what they're for, who they are. Just send us whatever you think they should win and it'll be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, that good? Yeah, you can nominate categories as well as. Yeah, make up a Dapsie. We don't things care. to win those categories. Because yeah. clearly it doesn't count for anything. Yeah. Yeah. The show's um, made up and the points don't matter. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. Comments. <laughs> Comments. Let's uh let's look at some MCR of these. Lover 98 says, um, yeah, we're excited for a shield movie or shield show also. I'm looking forward to Avengers 2. Yes. Like that's also, gonna be or the second one. The second one. Okay. I was gonna say, because the first one came mm -hmm. out, I, I watched it with you. I know. <laughs> that would have been weird. That was fun. Yes. Yeah. Moving right along. In search of good times and Good news. That would mean read the next comment. Yes. Uh, so then, then we got a comment only minus five points for world domination. Yeah, I think that's a fair conversion rate. Mm -hmm. Is uh, if you want to take over the world, yeah, the minus five points to you. Now, if they were successful, that's a different story. Because if they if they succeed, you should give them all the points because you don't want to be on their bad side. True. Very true. Um, automatic win that way. Um, yes. Then jumping over to our Facebook page, uh, we had a, a fun conversation in the last week about James Bond and what was the best James Bond movie. And I was actually surprised at how many people said GoldenEye. Um, Casey here said Child of the 90s right there. Yes, you are. Um, then um, Adam said GoldenEye until Skyfall came out. And that, That's one, true, that yeah. one surprised me that how many people put Skyfall as their number one James Bond movie of all time. And nice. well, shame on you. And um, I don't know. I thought it was really good, but I have a hard time giving the newest movie the best title because it's, it's it was good. You got I just don't know if it goes to the top. Hmm. Um, and then um, I remember playing Goldeneye, but I don't remember seeing it. <laughs> that was the first Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, um, but I don't I don't think I ever saw it. Mm -hmm. But I played the video game. Um, and then Adam also said that he loved Casino Royale. Um, because it brought the series back to Earth from the sci-fi thing. Mm -hmm. But if you've seen any old James Bond, they're pretty out there. You have guys with metal teeth in space. <laughs> they could remove staples really good, though. <laughs> like, man, if there was a staple that wasn't where just, it needed to be, he could just <laughs> rip that out. Magnets are a problem. <laughs> um, that's true. Yeah, so oh, that's a... Pick your toothpaste well. Anyway, <laughs> I was waiting for the second half of that joke, in all honesty. Um, you know, there isn't one. Okay, Crest. so we are, we're running out of time. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you around the corner. Geek out. Uh, so random. <laughs> no, they, I reference Roger Rabbit here, and you reference the other one. Right? And, yeah, I'm so, so many, sorry. So many rabbits of Roger, mm -hmm. or Rogers of Rabbit. Is, that, is a Roger a unit of rabbit? Can we check that? Is that? We'll figure it out for next week. No, we won't. We'll just skip right on by it and pretend we never had this conversation.